All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here. So today I have the brand new 2024 Model 3 here. This is the refreshed look. I've been dying to get my hands behind the wheels of one of these. I've actually never driven a Tesla until today, but I actually haven't got to actually drive it, drive it. I literally just picked it up, came into this parking garage, and here we are. So with this new refreshed look here, guys, this is a really sleek looking vehicle. We got some new uh, headlights, a whole new front bumper here. A uh, little bit different hood where it does come up a little bit more right here for more aerodynamics. Uh, new camera systems, new 18 inch uh, aero wheels here, uh, which are on some hand cooked tires that are going to help with sound dampening and everything. So all in all, guys, a new refreshed look. I got to say the stealth gray looks really sick. Uh, but let me grab the camera real quick and let's take a peek a little bit closer uh, at the other new things outside. So like I said, this is the new version, which does have the nicer, sleeker headlights here. Uh, as it looks like a mini Model S is what everyone keeps on saying. Uh, that new front bumper is also uh, pretty basic looking. There's no major grills. There's no fog lights anymore. As you can see here, just a whole new look and these new 18 inch rims. Uh, which I say rims, but they're hubcaps, but they're uh, really nice looking, a lot darker, uh, new design, looks really nice. And like I said, they are on these Hankook uh, Ventus tires as well. So they're supposed to help a lot with sound dampening. Uh, but then just kind of looking at the vehicle here, as you can see, looks pretty nice. I really love this gray color here. Uh, there's a lot to talk about going on in the back. So not only is it a new Tesla, logo as it shows just the wording tesla right here now uh, we do lose that badge but that's okay i think it looks a lot more mature the other thing is these new tail lights they're all one piece now so when you lift up the tailgate it's actually going with them instead of splitting it in half like the previous ones did so a new look back here as well so all around just a clean looking vehicle guys just looks really, really, really nice. And as I lift up that tailgate, which I haven't done before, but you can see there now that there is no lights other than just that tail end piece right there, which is obviously where we would be charging it. Uh, trunk is pretty dang good looking as well. So it has a nice spacious trunk in here. And then if you lift this up here, uh, just some extra space down here as well, but very nice opening. The seats do fold completely as well. And then if you just want to close it back, it does a little sound there, let you know it's doing it. And voila, there we go. So I want to go ahead and jump in the back seat real quick because I think it's important to kind of give you all an idea of what's going on back here. So first time sitting in a Tesla's back seat. Well, let me open that back up again. So we got this new eight inch screen back here, which is awesome. You can control everything back here. You can control your, you know, vents, the speed of everything. Not really sure how to do it. I haven't done it yet. Can turn it off you Can kind of do, you know, some entertainment back here, music. You can turn on your heated seats, arcade. So if you have kids, this is a very nice selling point. Uh, with this new version. There are two USB-C charging ports down there as well. Um, nice magnetic, uh, well, not really magnetic, just a very nice clamping little extra storage space there. Uh, back seat view looks awesome. Got this great looking glass up here as well. Has this new fabric back here where you can you know, roll the windows up and down. And then the way to open and close the door is with this button and voila. But I'm about 5'9", and I gotta say the knee space isn't terrible at all. The actual back seats feel pretty comfortable as well. Uh, so no complaints in that department. And now jumping into the front, first time really playing around with those door handles. So here we are greeted with this very minimalist look, as you can see here. So not too shabby, got this giant, uh, I think it's almost a 16 inch screen and the bezels have shrunk a little bit more now. So it is uh, gonna feel larger. And then this here is the new steering wheel, which is very minimal. You have your 
uh, controls here on the steering wheel. There are no stocks anymore, uh, which is uh, very much like the Model S and Model X. But at the end of the day, being able to just have this really minimal look, got your horn in the middle, so that is very traditional. But getting used to the buttons to turn on your uh, blinkers is one thing to get used to a little bit. But honestly, guys, I literally used them for all of five minutes and I've figured it out. So not bad at all. So now let's get behind the wheel. All right, guys, so I'm in the vehicle for the first time. So I'm going to put it in drive, put my foot on the gas and let's go. So this is the standard range. So this is my first time actually really playing around with the regenerative braking. And I gotta say, it's pretty easy. Um, feels very, very nice. Um, whenever you let go of the brake, if you, or the gas, if, or I say gas, the pedal, when you let go of it, if you let go of it really fast, it really does um, stop the vehicle. It's almost like a golf cart is kind of how the Tesla advisor explained, and, and he's actually really correct. Um, at the end of the day, it is definitely like driving a golf cart. This lady would get out of my way. Okay, so I need to get out of this parking garage because I only had 30 minutes to do this. And unfortunately, I have ran out of time almost, but I need to get on this because this is the standard range. And I've been trying to figure out if the standard range is enough for me or not. With that being said, I gotta feel, I kinda feel like the, the standard range is gonna be enough because with these electric vehicles, you're getting that instant torque and that instant just power and and i gotta say i i so far just by driving it in this parking garage it really does feel like there's some good torque here let's try to get out on the service road real quick because i gotta get back unfortunately to the tesla dealership way quicker than i anticipated so let's get out here one thing i gotta say is this uh just look of the screen and everything as i'm driving for the first time behind a tesla is pretty cool this tesla vision that they do now is is pretty dang unique it's just using the cameras to you know look around your surroundings as i'm driving by things or coming up to stop signs it's showing me them uh so it's pretty cool um for example there's a group of people walking up here i'm curious if it'll see them and yeah sure enough it starts to show people walking which is kind of cool um so as i'm doing this the first thing i'm noticing is just trying to remember to use the blinkers on the steering wheel that's something that is definitely new for me the regenerative braking is definitely new but i've barely been driving it and i can already tell like i got the hang of it when he explained like it was kind of like a golf cart it immediately clicked like right now i'm doing this i see a cop so i don't want to really get on it oh yeah yeah that instant torque and that instant power is just sick naturally there's a police officer behind me so i gotta not get a ticket <laughs> But I do like that the uh, map on here shows like, like kind of like Google Maps and, and Apple Maps, like the max and the minimum when it comes to the speed limits. So I do like that. But I gotta say, I'm, I'm very curious to drive a older Model 3 because this sounds very quiet. Like this sounds quieter than my vehicle right now. I mean, this sounds very, very premium, very, smooth i do have it just in the standard uh, everything i could go in and change the steering up to like more sport but i don't necessarily need that but kind of at a stop here so you know what just for fun one two three so even though this is the standard version guys 
Like that's got some, that's got some power. I mean, it's plenty fast for most people. Yeah, that, that was pretty impressive. Even though it is the standard version. I mean, <clears throat> I'm on the freeway right now and I, I'm giving it some gas right there. And I mean, it, it pushes you back. So is the standard fast enough for people? The answer is yes. I mean, it's got some pick up and go for sure. I mean, it is very quick. I used to own an Infiniti Q50, and I would say this is probably close to that, but the Infiniti Q50 didn't have that instant torque, like when I push the gas pedal like this does. I mean, it's, it's definitely something to do and not just read about. So for example, like I'm just pushing it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that is. That's got some power. That's got some power. So is the standard range enough? Yes. Standard range is plenty of power for people. So unfortunately I've come to the end of my test drive here. So. My first impressions of being in a Tesla Model 3 is, I love this thing. This thing is nice. It feels good. There's gonna be some things that you gotta get used to, obviously with it being an electric car and being maybe your first time driving an electric vehicle. Um, but at the end of the day, the regenerative braking, being able to power the vehicle and you know, kinda recharge the battery, that instant torque that you get where you're pushing that gas pedal and it's going, I mean, I can't even imagine how much quicker the long range or the performance model is, but this already just feels super nice. Like this is the base guys. It's like 36,000 after like the incentives, but I got to say this is, it's nice. It's very, very nice. I, I will say though, is where I'm at right now, having to use the blinkers a lot it's it's becoming easier and easier and easier but i can tell that it's definitely something that is going to take some use to getting to or getting used to i should say um but regenerative braking i've already figured it out the blinkers for the most part i've pretty much already figured out um <clears throat> yeah this is really nice really really nice the ambient lighting inside is pretty cool as well uh, you can play around with that. I just wish I had more time with this and I wish I would have taken more advantage of driving it. Um, but I got to say, super, super nice. So if you're questioning if it's loud or bumpy or anything like that, it's not guys. It, it drives fantastic. So appreciate you watching guys. <music>